I know, I know. It's been a while. Uh, I thought I've escaped you, but fate just seems to always have a way of me coming back to you. What I want doesn't really matter. You know I'll do it for you anyway. No, don't! Don't leave. I'll be right there. Please. What is going on? This is Owen's house. At this hour, he should be at his student's place, teaching him mathematics. Trigonometry was the last lesson they left off. But with that call earlier, the one with the audible caller that I'm unable to identify, doesn't seem like he'll be tutoring for tonight. And I'm about to find out what's the latest Owen update. I do this every day. Owen is very dear to me. Nice and friendly, but he rarely talks to anyone about himself. The least I could do to repay his kindness is to look after his house while he's away. Yeah, I help myself in. Knowing Owen, he probably declined my offer, and I'd have to force my way in regardless. This is actually a pretty good offer because I'd take nothing in return. It's just that Owen is too modest to accept it. Let's see what's new. Which place to check first? Uh, let's check the TV. The last thing he watched yesterday was Love Me and Escape Myself. Actually, we watched it together, only he doesn't know about it. It's too bad, really. I wasn't able to console him when he cried at the train scene. If Owen was watching with someone, he would have held back his tears. I'm glad. I'm glad he was able to let out his true emotions. I'll check the kitchen. Uh, eggs? Owen bought two trays of eggs after I sent him a link to the website of different egg recipes. He cooks a pair every after two mornings, so by now having six eggs left is expected. Milk. Owen dislikes drinking milk, but doesn't hate it to the point the sight sickens him. He likes milk products like cheese, cakes, or milk as a flavor. It surprised me when I found a bottle of milk in his fridge one day. After searching for clues and checking his meetup history, I found out he kept drinking bottles of milk because his brother kept pestering him. Yogurt cream. Owen's brother sent a carton of yogurt. He hasn't touched a single one since. Frieza. There are chicken breasts in the freezer. He must have bought these a while ago. A lot of the basil, lemon, and garlic cloves. What else to see? Bathroom. Toothpaste. Owen's toothpaste is running out. I'd like to replace it, but he might question it. Toothbrush. Owen always brushes his teeth. I can't think of a day where he doesn't. He was always brushing his teeth, even when he was running late for his appointment. Understandable. He was going to talk with his client. Shower. The tiles are dry now. Remember the time when Owen spent an hour in the shower. I wasn't able to capture his expression, but he must have really been troubled back then. Good thing I invited him to ice cream. That helped in cheering him up. Am I the yandere? Owen's room. Bed. Owen's bed. Always well made. Smells really good too. Sometimes I couldn't help myself. Desk. Owen's workspace. This is where he works on his logo designs, as well as his lesson plans for the kids he's tutoring. He would stay up late because of work, and I would watch him in silence. Everything seems to be in place, aside from the understandable changes in number, like the eggs. So the first change in our normalcy was that call. Owens received a lot of calls from family, friends that did background checks on, as well as clients. But that certain caller, who is that person to Owen? Who is that person? Who? Back at home. He couldn't figure it out. I tried tracking the call, but it led back to Owen's place. Was that call from underground then? Could Owen be involved in an illegal activity? I tried asking him about it over the phone, but he acted as if nothing new happened. I couldn't even tell if he's happy, relieved, or being blackmailed. The next day. Oh. What? Of course I still care about you. Yes, I do. I'm not lying. I would never. It sounds like you're on the tail end of a very abusive relationship, Owen. I do love you, so please. Owen left in a hurry and I entered the room through the window as soon as possible. Love. He loves someone. Like a family, right? I don't ever recall Owen being in a relationship. He turns down everyone who tries to get a hit on him. 
I should get my head straight. Owen is in distress. He needs my help more than ever. But knowing him, he'll never ask for it. I'll check the bed. When Owen got home, he lied down for a bit until he jumped at the sound of his ringtone. With the same inaudible voice, something unconvinced that only Owen could hear, the caller had put him in a panic. And he dashed through the door, leaving the bed in disarray. Desk. Owen's laptop. The last time I checked it was this morning. He was designing a logo for a cafe. His client is a single man, 175 centimeters tall, 45 years old, and a greedy scumbag not interested in seeing anyone. Only interested in Owen for his designs. Nothing more than that. The bag. Owen left his bag? Inside Owen's bag. Pencils, bond papers, manila, markers, erasers, phone charger, wallet, hand cream, cologne, comb, sticky notes, water bottle. A handkerchief? I've never seen this handkerchief before. I don't think he chooses this kind of color. The embroidery says Diana. I don't recall any Diana in Owen's family tree. And I'm most likely certain I know all of his classmates, students, and acquaintances' names. So who? Who are you, Diana? Why does he have your handkerchief in his bag? Are you the reason he's been stressed lately? No. He must have picked this up from somewhere and held onto it until he finds the owner. A new client is impossible. He would have written the name on a sticky note. A new friend. Do you just give your handkerchief to your new friend? No. That's not how it works. Owen, what are you up to? Seriously, what are you up to? Like, why would you have her handkerchief? I'm, I'm, I'm legit confused here. That's kind of... Ick. Back at home. Owen took the train to Pablo, the rural area, with barely any cameras nor telephone lines. Where did you go? His documents say that he spent time with his grandfather most of his childhood. He didn't have many friends back then, and his classmates considered him the quiet kid. Did he visit his grandfather then? His grandmother? Colts wasn't married. Owen did not have a grandmother. Owen does not even know his biological parents. His grandfather, Colts, simply picked him up and raised him. From where? Owen, there are so many things I don't know about you. Why is it that when I came to take a step closer, you always drift further away? Yes! I'm sorry, Arlen, but if you continue working in the dark like this, you'll ruin your eyes! Mistress's orders are to take care of you. Don't hate us for it. I'm doing just fine. Please, leave. You've been at it for hours now, Arlen. You didn't even tell us where you've been disappearing to. Oh, I hope it's not bad company. I'm not doing anything illegal, so you don't have to worry. Isn't breaking and entering illegal, though? Tampering with the street security cameras isn't an illegal action. If law enforcement installed it there, then it's for its citizens to use. What are you even doing? Looming like a creep in the dark? If you're going to keep doing whatever it is you're doing, you need to at least eat first. I don't have time for this. Wait, Arlen! Alright, I'm sorry. I didn't read the room right. Clearly, this thing you've got going on. It's got you stressed, so is there anything we can do to help you? Yeah. The sooner you get to finish your stuff, the sooner you could go back to resting. Yeah, I'm not like Owen. I'll take any help I can get. Pablo. Have any of you been to Pablo? I visited the place once for my piano recital back in 6th grade. Deliver pizza boxes during my part-time in Red's Pizza. Very quiet place. Almost like a ghost town. Not their elementary. There may be a few students, but they never know when to shut up. Remember getting into trouble for finding a girl up there because she was supposed to perform first. I just arrived, but I already had rumors accompanying me. I keep telling her that was from a different city, which is why they made me perform first. Yeah, I don't care. Is the name Colts familiar to any of you? Or even Owen? Is there an orphanage in this town? I met Owen when I was nine in an airport. He's a retired old man with four children and grandchildren now. I've never heard of a Colts before. I'm not familiar with any of those names. Sorry. It's for orphanages. I don't think so. I don't think there's still an orphanage around this age. You're of no help to me. Hey, we did what we can. Come back when you can provide useful information. Wealth can give us context to what... God damn it, Arlen. Don't be mean to them. They're cute. That's really the only reason. God. It's alright, Oh, Everything's going to be alright. I messed up, Lai. I always mess up. 
I thought I could run away from him. Just, sweetie, you haven't told me what's bothering you. All right, all right, no questions then. Let's cool off with ice cream then. How about that, hon? What's going on with Owen? Lyra, in his room, on his bed. This is bad. It's bad, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. Lyra's everywhere, traces on the bed, perfume in the air. She's embracing Owen's room with her corruption. Clean. I must clean. Bed. She's here. Her weight was here. She was touching Owen here. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away! Desk. Her hand. Sign. She placed it here. On his desk. Erase, 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 erase! Trash can. It's empty. She should have been here. She should have stayed here. All right, sofa. When she arrived, she sat here, didn't she? Yes, remove her trace, remove her presence, remove it, remove it. Table, I know her, that woman. She placed her feet on the table even with shoes on. Gross, 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 this table's too dirty. The cupboard, Lyra. She couldn't have reached this place. Even I couldn't reach it, but what if? What if? What if she ran from the opposite side of the room, did her greatest jump ever, and did a high five, or even used the stool to retrieve the cookie jars? I couldn't risk it. Spray, 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 spray! The fridge. The fridge snacks. Did she spread her filth here too? No. No, I'm not sure. Just in case. The counter. The counter. For sure. Her hands. Everywhere. Here too? Really? Here? Clean it. Clean, 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 clean! Yeah. 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 The situation has been stabilized. Lyra's presence has been cleaned thoroughly and was handled with great focus. But Owen, why? Why would you let the person who tried to poison you in your safe place? You'd rather lean on her to hide from me? That night, I had a nightmare. I knew she knew. Still, she tries to put me on edge every time all three of us are in the same room. She would look at me and challenge me with those eyes. She knew that I would not stand a chance against her. But Owen himself said he's not interested in anyone. She had no chance either. Or maybe. Hey, is everything alright? Arlen, you poor thing. Do you want to talk about it? We're all ears. I'm not like Owen. I can express myself when I need to. I... I just had a nightmare. Someone I like having someone else. Oh. My, my. Forget about it. It's just a dream. If it came haunting your dreams, then something must have come up. I saw them together. Yesterday. Oh, my. I see. And here I thought you didn't care about anyone. It's my first time hearing about you having a crush. Me too. Mistress was convinced that he was... An unfeeling brick wall that crumbles upon human contact. Hush! Oi! I was just quoting the mistress. Ahem. Uh don't think about it too much, Arlen. It was only a dream. But if you're really anxious about it, maybe it's time you make a move. Just don't cause too much trouble, okay? We know how extreme you can get. And if you ever need a wingman or, well, any sort of assistance in the, your pursuit of love, you can count on us. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Arlen in love. Who would have thought? I was caught off guard too. Is this what he's been so busy about? Oh gosh, that was so much fun. But anyway, that was House Check. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to play this game for yourself, link to the game will be in the description below. I really like this one. It had a very interesting premise where you play in the perspective of the Yandere who is going through the love interest house. And heck, I really can't wait for the full game to be released. But anyway, I hope you guys have a lovely rest of the day. And of course, I will be seeing you in the next video. This is Lionel, signing off. Ciao.